Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a really quick overview of the iPhone 2G. This is the 8GB. Yeah, uh, we're going to take a really quick tour about, around the device. So first we have the home button. You have the speaker and the 3.5 inch touchscreen. You then have the uh, ringer and volume rocker. Headphone jack. SIM card tray and power button. And then on the bottom you have your 30 pin, your speaker and your microphone so when you power up the device you are greeted with a lock screen which is on all iPhones even the new 7 plus and probably the new one when it comes out in September anyway here is the iPhone 2G we can go ahead and unlock this is running iOS 3.1.3 uh, no, because I don't want to share the uh, serial number because I don't want anyone using it for anything. Um, yeah. Or using anything uh, that I w want them to. So, yeah. So, this is iOS 3. I'm not sure really what to say about iOS 3. Is basically, if you search up iPhone uh, 2G iOS 3, there's pretty much everything you need to know uh, already on there. Um, there's quite a lot of videos and, yeah, worms mine from the speed test that I did versus my iPhone 5S, which is, um, the latest iPhone I own, which I'm now using an iPhone 4S as my main phone because I broke the phone, the touchscreen stopped working. Um, I don't know why it just randomly stopped working. It started going crazy and then it just stopped working. Um, anyway... I'll make a video on that. Maybe. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm not sure what to say about iOS 3. This thing had a 2 megapixel camera on it. Uh, shiny Apple logo. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the back. It's like a... Um, I don't really want to show the IMEI either. So, there's a big black bar at the bottom. And as you have the iPhone 8 gigabyte, And you have the Apple logo and the 2 megapixel camera. Um, and yeah, I have taken some photos with them, and they didn't come out half bad. Um, honestly, for, yeah, the, the, it still didn't come out that bad. They were still okay. Um, yeah, they were still pretty good. I've got to admit, uh, even when I'm poured to my MacBook, they still looked, uh, kind of nice. Um, you know, the colours were still, like, true. Um, that may sound like a lie, but it it really isn't. Um, yeah. The speakers, again, they're good. Um, like all the first generation devices, um, the, if any of you know about audio, the DAC in this thing is, um, supposed to be really good, and I agree with that. Um, even the iPod Touch first generation has a really good DAC in it, and it sounds so good. Um to listen to music on. Um, yeah, this thing's speed is still quite good. Um, it is freshly restored, so I'm not sure how it would be if we uh, put some apps on here and stuff, but I'm sure it'll still be fast. Um, all iPhones are fast, really. I mean, and this helped, you know, pave the way to the iPhone 3G, then the 3GS and then the iPhone 4S and then obviously the iPhone 5 and then later to the iPhone 6 and 7 so I mean yeah this thing was pretty cool um, this came out in 2007 it's still quite you know okay I may use this, um, I was trying to my friend, actually, to, uh, try and use this thing for a week, and that's a challenge accepted. Uh, I'll go ahead and attempt that. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and try that, if I can get all my apps onto here, uh, older versions of them, that I'm actually using on my 4S right now. Um, yeah, I will attempt that video. So, yeah, uh, look forward to that. There's a couple new videos coming up, so, yeah. Um, I guess see you in the next one.
and look forward to new videos because there's some pretty good ones coming up. See you all in the next one.